Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to cover basic mathematical operations. And by the end of this video, you will be able to appreciate the fact that Excel makes it very easy to do repetitive mathematical operations. Let's start. For this lecture, I'll be working on this workbook. We have a table here of two columns containing numbers. Here are the tasks that I have to perform. My first task is to add the two numbers and write their sum in the column titled sum. Then in the fourth column, I will add the two numbers and I will add a constant as well. This is the constant that will be adding along with these two numbers. In the fifth column, we will multiply these three numbers. And in the last column, we will find the average of the three numbers. All in all, for these 10 rows of numbers, I have 40 cells to be filled. Looks like a big task. Even if we use a calculator, it may take us 15 minutes to do this, maybe even more. Don't worry, in Excel, it won't take that long. Let's see how. First, we want to add two numbers. For this, we need to write a formula because a calculation is to be done. A formula starts with an equal to symbol. This symbol tells Excel that a calculation is to be done in this cell. So we write is equal to, click on the first cell, put a plus symbol, and then click on the second cell. You can see that the two cells part of this formula are highlighted in colored boxes. Now when I hit enter, Excel will calculate the value from the formula and show it here. If you click this cell, you can see that formula bar is still showing the actual formula, but this cell is showing the calculated value of the formula. If you want to edit the formula, you can either do it in the formula bar or double click on the cell and then edit the formula. Now you may have this question in mind. Why in the formula did we add two cells? Why is it a2 plus b2 and not 5 plus 6? Well, if we write 5 plus 6, even then we would get the same answer. But using cell reference, that is writing a2 plus b2 gives us additional benefits. The first benefit is that this makes the cell dynamic to changes. For example, if you update this number to 50, then you need not correct your formula again. Your formula will add the updated contents of these two cells and show you the new answer. Had you written 5 plus 6 initially, you would need to rectify this formula every time you make any changes to these two numbers. The second benefit is simply amazing. Excel offers a functionality of extending series and formulas from one cell to the other cell. If you go to the bottom right corner of this cell, you will see that the cursor changes to a small plus symbol. Click and hold and now drag down. You will see this black border extending to the next cell. You can extend it as far as you would like to, but first let's see what happens with this one cell. In this cell, you can see that the sum is calculated. In the formula bar, we see that automatically it is adding A3 and B3 now. We entered the formula in C2 for adding A2 and B2. But when we extended the formula, it was automatically updated to A3 and B3. The logic followed is that 
when you extend the formula to the next row all the cell references are updated for the next row same holds for columns if i extend the formula to the right that is to the next column all cell references will point to the next column cells in the new formula let's see this in the table in the right here the formula entered is i3 plus i4 if i extend this formula to the right the new formula states j3 plus j4 that is when i extend the formula to adjacent cell which has a new column number all the cell references in the formula are changed accordingly so can you see the power now to fill this entire column i need not add 10 times just write the formula once and drag it to all the other cells and it's done you can see this column is ready for the next column we have to add three numbers number 1 number 2 and the constant let's write the formula for that is equal to a2 plus b2 plus this constant i would like to extend this formula to other cells in this column but when i extend it the row reference is updated for all the cells a2 becomes a3 b2 becomes b3 and b13 becomes b14 two becoming three is okay for me here but i do not want this 13 to increase to 14 because my constant stays in cell b13 only to stop this from happening that is to stop the referencing to be updated we can use dollar symbols let me show you how in this formula a cell is referenced using column name and row name if you drag the formula down row name is updated row name is the number so 2 becomes 3 if you put a dollar symbol dollar symbol is the symbol that you find over the keyboard number 4 so if you press shift and then press 4 you will get a dollar symbol if you add a dollar symbol in front of the row name and then drag down the formula you will notice that that cell reference which has a dollar symbol in front of it will not be updated and will be locked so if you compare the formula in row 2 and row 3 a2 becomes a3 b2 becomes b3 but b13 stays as b13 this is because 13 was locked with a dollar symbol let's extend it to all the cells in this column you can check it is working fine for all the cells we can do the same thing for columns also for columns when we drag the formula from left to right column names are changed putting a dollar symbol in front of column name will lock it so now if i extend this horizontally we will see that i3 becomes j3 i4 becomes j4 i6 becomes j6 i want i6 to remain as i6 and not become j6 so i will put a dollar symbol here in front of i6 this means i will be logged so when i extend this formula horizontally here you will see j3 plus j4 plus i6 
what if we put dollar symbol on both probably you have guessed it right if you put a dollar symbol on both the row name and the column name both will not change regardless of where you move the formula now in the next two columns we know what to do let's write the formula first for product we will select the first number the multiply symbol is the asterisk which can be found on number 8 in the keyboard with number 2 multiplied with the number 3 with dollar symbol in front of the row number and in the average column we'll need to add the three numbers first and then divide them by 3 to get the average so since we have to add the three numbers first we will write summation in the brackets so within bracket number 1 plus number 2 plus this constant with a dollar symbol we will close this bracket and divide this total sum with 3 now in this fourth column we can also use the sum calculated in the column d in the column d we already have the sum we can straight away use this value and divide it by 3 so in instead of writing this formula we can also write is equal to d2 divided by 3 so the formulas are written in these two cells now here's another handy trick you can select both the cells go to the bottom right corner and double click when you double click excel automatically fills it up for the entire table so you don't have to click and hold the bottom right corner and drag it to the entire table you can just go to the bottom right corner and double click and the entire table will be filled i hope you can now see how excel increases productivity in tasks which involve repetitive calculations in the coming videos we will see other functions mathematical textual logical functions that are commonly used to perform complex tasks in excel